make sure, guys, that you are looking for that shadow underneath the truck, the gas can, the red car, the extra car, and what Chris keeps doing when he's coming back and forth, and also the extra person. Let's see if we can all find that right now. And if you think that this recording is not moving, just remember to look at that American flag over in Nate's yard. So he must be in the garage right now, getting everything together in the back, or he's bringing Shnan down or up from the basement or the top of the stairs, is what he might be doing as of right now, and getting the girls ready to be put in the truck as well. Again, it's kind of funny to watch this when we've normally seen it in clips, but the actual raw footage is way longer, roughly around 50 minutes long. Um, but it's to the point that we see it in the clips, 
of coming back and forth and coming back and forth where we thought it was only five, 10, maybe 20 minutes at most. But this is actually longer than we initially realized because he started way early in the morning and then left around six ish to six fifteen ish. Funny when uh, Nicole's phone number pinged in Frederick, Colorado at six sixteen. And you can also not tell me that that ring camera did not go off when he was right there. He looks somewhat almost in the middle of the concrete driveway. So that camera had to have picked him up. He almost must be getting his book bag, his cooler, his computer, getting ready for the day, and all that jazz. Again, guys, I don't want to jump to when he actually starts coming out. I wanted this to be completely raw, unedited footage for you guys to watch and see everything so that it's not doctored in any shape or form, which is what we're watching right now. You can definitely see that it starts to get brighter and brighter and brighter so it just makes me wonder how he was able to so-called hint hint carry her out when so far it's getting lighter and lighter we haven't seen him come outside yet because he's probably getting his ducks in a row or he thinks he's getting his ducks in a row and so forth so it's like you couldn't tell me that nobody saw him and the whole thing too as well, there's no way that she would have fit in the background or the back of the truck. I've said it multiple occasions. And I'll say it at the end of this video, I'll show you.
even though that Chris is inside the house, we have seen some movement in the truck. I'm not quite sure if I'm seeing it or not, but in the bushes you can also see who's inside the back of the truck. If there is anybody, again, there has been speculation that NK is in the truck or has come into the house as well, but we haven't seen that quite yet. Just wait till he starts going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, lights on and so forth like that when it starts to get really interesting. There he goes. The lights turn on. But yet he leaves. So the door must be on. Or open. He comes back again. Or somebody. Somebody walked in front of the truck because we see the front headlights out. And yet the front headlights are still out. Like somebody's blocking it. I could be wrong. Just throwing that out there. I'm just giving my two cents of what I see. Because I am watching this raw footage as much as. See, somebody came back now. And now somebody's not in front of the headlights anymore. Or is that the inside of the light? Which would mean the door would be open, correct? Why would the passenger and driver door be open? See, the light just went out and yet he's in the house. I know you can push a key or button on your key fob to lock the doors. But why would you lock them, unlock them, open the door? I mean, it just doesn't make sense. You guys aren't too bored watching this but I really want to get down to who was at the house that morning what it looked like when he left where was NK since her phone pinged there that morning the red car that people keep talking about which it could be the possible neighbor but it's just so funny that the next door neighbor Betty had mentioned that she saw a smaller truck not the bigger truck a smaller truck with a topper, which was NK's, driving through the neighborhood the morning of the murders. And the only reason why this camera popped up is because Chris parked in his driveway. But Nate did have other recordings on his DVR, but we never saw those actual recordings. We saw other cars driving in front of his yard and Chris's yard. Wish we would get to be able to see those recordings.
I really want to see that smaller shadow because people say the undoctored, which this is what this is, we don't see that little shadow. And that's what I really want to see. Please be patient everyone, I know this is a little bit of watching paint dry, but we got to do this to make sure we find out all the evidence. goes back to the truck again but the lights don't go on now what is that car that light just moved there's a separate light Was that the door or was that a different separate light? Here comes the gas can. Here's where we're going to get really interesting here. But then he takes it back out. Wait, nope. Where is he putting it? Where is he taking this gas can? Okay, then he puts it over to here. Put a gas can in there. The lights on that truck definitely do not work like I would normally think they would work. They don't work like my, my Jeep, I can tell you that. I mean, different vehicles, but a majority of vehicles kind of act the same-ish in a way. truck, the bed of the truck, Chris Watts definitely thought he was crossing his T's and dotting his I's for sure, but he's in the truck right now, or somebody's in the truck, see, and then we see a weird headlight again, can't tell if that's the side of the door, or if it's a different light. That stupid bush was not in the way. Okay, 
Could that be possibly the door? But see now, somebody the lights go off again. microscope on I still do not see where he might have carried somebody out. Okay, he's in the truck. Somebody's in the door or the window on the passenger side. Or must be he's going by the headlights up why it's shining on him. He just bent down and picked up somebody, as in a little girl. The light of the headlight just turned on. So that doesn't make sense in itself as well if the truck was running the entire time.
just doesn't make sense. Why would his headlights go on now if the truck was on the entire time? So the lights that we were probably seeing was from an, either a different car or the inside of the truck. <sighs> but we did see the shadow of him picking up somebody. So that put that to bed for people saying that was not true. And we see a, the light come on the back of the truck again. But nobody's in the truck. Why is that? Oh, and then he starts to leave. What? This does not make sense. So he drives out a little bit. He drives forward. Okay, this is where we start seeing. So he drives forward a little bit. But is this person now Chris Watts? Because this person now has different shoes. He had tennis shoes on. Jeans and a black shirt. Okay, the lights are going off in the front again. Or somebody's over on the side of the door. The stupid bush wasn't in the way. Okay, so the truck leaves. You can't tell me that there's nobody else there. Alright guys, after just watching that, did you see anything that you didn't see before? There was a couple things that made me kind of really head scratch, which was the, the headlights, the lights going on and off and so forth like that. But looking at the far right, I took two still images where you could see two different people. And it's like, these are not the same people, okay? Um, there's no way. The pants are different. Um, they're skinnier, they're tighter. Um, the person on the left is smaller. The person on the right is bigger and so forth like that. And then on the far right where you guys can see right here, this is the truck that Betty saw, said she saw that morning. Um, and then looking at the back of the truck where you guys can see right here, um, which is Chris's truck, this image right here, he said he put Shanann down in the bottom. There is no way you're putting a 15 week old woman down in that crevice. I don't even think you could fit the skinniest woman back there. I don't think she, she would be back there, but she wouldn't be comfortable. There is no way that she would have been back there. This, I don't know if this really helped me answer some more questions or if it pretty much gave me more, or if it didn't give me any answers, it gave me more questions. So, Again, what is your guys' thoughts on the raw footage, the uncut version of this? Um, I know the beginning was a little boring. Hopefully the music that I chose for you guys was a little bit better for you guys not to fall asleep. Um, I can definitely do some more images of raw footage of like um, Nicole Kessinger's interviews. They are two or one was what? Two hours. The other one was three hours. We can watch that, but it is a little long. Um, if you guys would like me to definitely comment down below. Um, I know there, we, a lot of people have been watching this over and over and over, but there are some people that have been just getting introduced in this case. Some people don't know about the raw footage. So there's people that have cut it and edited and stuff like that, which hopefully we didn't all see, but looking at that raw footage that we just saw, you can see him with a child, with that small little sh shadow. I don't see him carrying anything big or a bit uh, as like human size. Um, you see him pacing back and forth. The truck turns on and off a lot of the times, but again, you guys be the judge.
Let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe, share with your friends or share with your crime buddies as well. And um, hit the like button because the like button helps out other people know that this video is important to watch. Um, it lets people know that it's okay to watch as well. And it just overall shows me that you guys enjoy the content. Um, again, with that being said, please take care. Be safe. As always, keep nerding on. And we'll see you guys in the next video.